Hey man, real stay say shit. You already know what the fuck is going on. So today we gotta talk about an interesting situation that's happening with Cordell Ray. It's a crazy situation. Um, basically, she's getting shelved by her label. Now, she posted on uh, Twitter, it was like two days ago. She was basically saying her frustration. She was saying, I think before she was saying she almost quit rap and Lil Durk convinced her not to. And then she was also saying that she actually wanted to release music and wanted to drop an album, but she was unable to because the label said she wasn't ready. Now, this is an interesting situation. I'm pretty sure that Coyle Ray is signed to Republic Records. It's an independent, I think it's an independent. It's either independent or it's an independent with major backing, but basically it's a label. And the way it works for labels are in some sort of situations and deals where they basically sign. You're not gonna have the full type of control that you want, like, because I don't know, like, look at it you have to drop certain albums and the label basically puts up money for these albums so they don't want to lose their money on an investment they just want to make bread off of it and they do all types of analytics and tracking of like different like stats and shit to see if you're ready and it's kind of crazy because it's like Coyle Ray really she literally has a song that's blowing up right now online on TikTok and that's like the biggest platform right now for music and that's that basically a snippet where she's like sounds like some Pee Wee Playhouse shit it's a pretty fire song honestly and I feel like that whole situation there is kind of fried on the labels part because it's like I do feel like she should drop something I don't know if she should drop a, a whole album though like she probably needs to drop that single if she hasn't already but like it's just crazy and it just shows like how the music industry really is like artists think that it's like oh no i'm about to get signed and then i'm about to do whatever the fuck i want like there's some people that could do whatever the fuck they want but you look at every artist that's signed to a major label and is like actually doing shit like they don't drop like an actual project for like they drop a project at least like once every year but they definitely don't have full control over it like they probably want to drop more music than they really like want to but like i don't know the label controls it plus it's like in the budget and shit like they give you a budget like a set amount of budget for the project for recording and all that shit and i guess if they see that like um you don't have like a big enough fan base to really go to your shows and selling out shows by yourself it's kind of difficult for them to put up the money to do that shit and i definitely feel like coil ray could bring a crowd but i don't really i made this in another video but i don't really see her really a lot of shows that she'd be doing with just her like it's mostly shows with other people and like festivals and shit which is cool but it's like you saw like how lit everyone was at the like crowds during rolling loud and shit so it's like maybe just people aren't connecting with the music as much as like they're connecting with it but not enough to really pay hella bread for it and it kind of sucks and I feel like that she has the potential to have a lot of fans just because she's known. But I wonder why the label feels like the people aren't connecting with it good enough. I mean, like, we'll see what the fuck happens with the situation. But this is just like advice that I give to like up and coming artists for real. It's like these labels, like, you really got to have mad leverage. And a lot of time these artists like Coyle Ray and shit, she's been in this deal probably for a couple years since she first got big in like 2018 or whatever. So it's like right now, it's just crazy to really see this, but it's like probably the same deal with the first label that she had. And it just feels like they like have the control and then they give like the say on whatever the fuck they want to do based off of the deal that they had like two years ago when she's like a different artist than what she is she's a different artist now than what she was back then so i don't really know if you could keep her at the same level that she was so i don't know you gotta know what you're signing as a new artist as an up-and-coming artist you need to really get leverage before you sign a deal like you need to build your own fan base you need to throw shows you need to do your shit so you're more valuable and then you have more you're taking more seriously especially when it's an independent label and you're competing with a group of other 
big ass artists and it's a big label so it's like there's hella fucking hundreds of artists that you have to compete with and get their attention like you need to really be fucking doing crazy shit if you're signed to a major label and a lot of the big artists that we know today that are are like just good with timing and shit you know but hey hey man i just hope that call ray is able to figure out her label situation if not that shit could end up sucking but it's like it seems like every artist nowadays goes through this because i feel like no one really teaches you how to do the label shit or like music business really like that and nobody really even like takes the time to really research it and they just take the word for like a lawyers and like managers who might be coming from the fucking like actual label and they don't have your best interests in mind they have the label special interests in mind so hey man you just gotta figure it out real say say shit hopefully Corla Ray is good but who the fuck knows at this point like comment subscribe you already know what the fuck going on peace